Um, what are the sea of unholy creatures? They're, they're creatures that don't exist on the planet. Like? He better not say Filipinos. <laughs> I would. Well, no, no, you're not. A, you're not a sea creature. You're a land creature. Wait, I want to be a sea creature. I'm so but proud to a be a sea creature. creature. Yeah, Please. but you're no. When I say <laughs> wading through, wading through waters of with un- unholy creatures, is that what I said? Yeah. Yeah. Unholy. Wading through a sea of unholy creatures. Wading through a sea of unholy creatures. Let's be clear. I'm pretty unholy. Let's be clear. <laughs> Let's be clear. You're a land creature for sure. Let's be clear. Oh. I don't know how to walk even. You can climb a tree like a motherfucker, though. I sure can. For some mangoes, I sure yeah, will. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and um, we got thick legs here, man. Love it. Welcome home. Uh, okay, hold on. Thank you. Welcome in. Uh, let me just get back into. <sighs> and scene and energy, <laughs> energy, positive energy. I take the glasses off. It's ridiculous. <laughs> These glasses are ridiculous. People go, are they prescription? I go, no. Then they go, why are you wearing them? I go, because of fashion. <laughs> and then they and then they make a face. You know what I mean? But um, I'm getting old, so you have to put like mm. you know like, nice ornaments on the tree, never, right? If, I never thought about Christmas, it like that. Right? If you have a really bad tree, you put nice ornaments on I it. I think of you as like a Charlie Brown tree. <laughs> what does what does that mean? What the fuck does that mean? <laughs> It's like half dying, not very leafy, but it <laughs> speaks to the heart. Oh. oh. Speaks to my heart, at least. Thank you. Let's go. Three, two, one. We're back in town. I'm back in town. It's been weird being back, guys. It's like, um, I, the whole time I was in Hungary, I was like, I can't wait to get home. And now that I'm here, I kind of miss Hungary a little bit. What part do you mm. miss? I miss the smells of Edgar Ramirez. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's, hey, Bob, he tell me smell, more. He has a spicy <laughs> smell about him, you know? And when he walks by, he's a soft guy too. You know what I mean? He's yeah. got little hair on his forearms, soft guy. Um, I just smell like you know, there's a mist. There's a sexual mist that he exudes oh, from his body. A pheromone. A fer- is that a pheromone? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, so I miss um it's that was the most pleasurable thing about the trip because we <laughs> talked about how you know he was your hall pass. Yeah, oh wow. Right. So I didn't know he was in the movie. Oh, so it was a surprise. No, he, I, I think he was cast when I got there, mm. right? Or the deal closed. And then, so then I hear my friend, um, GLC, she goes, um, Oh my God. Did he just <laughs> abbreviate Jamie Lee Curtis? No, I didn't abbreviate. I have a friend named JLC. Who's that? Uh-huh. I don't know. She was in the movie Jesus L. Christ. <laughs> Jesus oh, L. Cool, Christ. Cool, cool. And she goes, um, Oh, Edgar comes in tomorrow or something. And I go, Edgar who? She goes, Edgar Ramirez. And I went, I, like my, I, you, have, <laughs> you have to understand. I go, he's in our movie? Yes. And, she, and GLC is like, you know, Jamie Lee Curtis was like. <laughs> oh, Jamie Lee Curtis? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She was like, um, yeah. True. And so I saw him in the lobby when he came in. And I went, that's my girlfriend's hall pass. <laughs> but nowhere in my mind did I think like we were going to be friends. Oh man! Because at that point, you know, when you go, so I'll, I'll just tell you. So when I got there, I'm like, okay, this is going to be a month and a half of sheer boredom, mm. because I'm not gonna, no one's gonna want to hang out with me, and also on top of it, it's like I'm barely in the movie. Well, like, the first two weeks, you called me crying. Every yeah, time. I cried. It was like I'm barely in the movie. I have like six lines here, six lines there, one line per- periodically. You know what I mean? But maybe ten to twelve lines to the whole thing, and um, I don't know what I'm doing. Anyway, um, so I'm thinking, you know, oh, they're not gonna. I'm like an extra, right? But I'm still in the four seasons with everyone else, right? Mm-hmm. And I just want. I, I feel like I'm. I'm not bragging, but it's like a castle. Left. Who's Who's Hollywood now? Who's the most Hollywood? I'm guy? not Hollywood at all. I'm 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 telling you that I'm not. 
You know what I mean? <laughs> Hollywood be, would have been like, oh, I can't wait to go there to befriend all these people and live amongst the Hollywood elite. Mm. My thing is like, I got to combat these people and I got to survive. So that's not what Hollywood is. Right? <laughs> wait, that's the hotel? Yeah. That's insane. It's a castle. That's literally the hotel. That's, the that's literally where I stayed for a month and a half. That's a hotel. I, that's a hotel. So when you walk in, you're like, bro, dude. What? See the first floor right there? Yeah, is that you? Yeah. Is that your place? Yeah. That's me right there. <laughs> <laughs> the lights out. Lights out. Yeah. And then JLC. Wait, JLC, JLC, JLC was right here. No, she's right here. JLC's uh, uh, above oh, yeah, you or yeah. next she's to you? In the, in, this right here has a balcony and a whole thing. Oh, man. Yeah, yeah. That's amazing. So I'm at this <laughs> castle. Right? So you, you imagine like I'm checking in, right? Yeah. And I, I'm in this castle. Oh, no. Like, I'll just tell you what happened. So <laughs> this is how I knew I was in the beginning. I, was, I thought I was fucked because so I land, right, with Janina. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, she's talented. So good now. Janina and Cheyenne Jackson. I mean, this dude has it all. Cheyenne Jackson has it all, bro. Mm-hmm. The looks, dances, he can skip dance. Uh, skip dance? That's skip Tap dance. dancing? Tap dance. Skip. <laughs> skip dance. Yeah. Skip dance. I don't know. So he could da- dance can you dance? show me what a skip dance would look like real quick? Yeah. Ready? Skip, 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 dance. That's a skip dance. So you could do that for pro level. You know what I mean? And then, um, so we land and there's a guy in a full-blown suit and he goes to Janine, right when we get off the plane, and he goes up to Janine and goes, um, come with me, young lady. And then Cheyenne and I are just going with everyone else. Because mm-hmm. she has like a concierge limo kind of a situation. Yeah. So that's what they do. She's, is when you, She's VIP. She's VIP, yeah. for sure. For sure. But then she goes, hey, well, Cheyenne and Bobby, just come with me. What's the big deal? Right? And the guy was like, I don't know if that's a part of the, you know what I mean? And she's like, they're he, they're in the movie just so we went in through the like we went into like a whole beautiful like wow. lounge area. Your first time VIP? Yeah, I've never been VIP. Oh wow. Right? This whole lounge area and it's like I'm like, oh, this is how they treat you know, and also you, you think this is gonna be my treatment through the whole thing. Like I'm gonna yeah. be pulled along and tagged along. So then we go to the hotel and you know that hotel and you go in and you're like, Oh my god, this is gorgeous. And then something magical happened. Why are you making that face, baby? Am I being Miwo? I just have a different account <laughs> of events. <laughs> from, oh, from. The, the magic didn't happen fast. The first two weeks was you calling. No, 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 that's not true. 10 times. That's, a, that's not true. That's not true. I'm so lonely. <laughs> that's, not, that's not true. That's not true. I'm lonely. That's not true. That's not true. That's not true. I'll tell you. What, I'll tell you. The first five days was great. Mm-hmm. And then the two weeks of. Me calling, going, I'm going to kill myself. Mm-hmm. So that's, I'm describing the first five days. No, because remember, I got the letter. That's oh, what yeah, I'm yeah, describing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm. So I get the letter from JLC. <laughs> he gave you a, like a letter? She wrote me a letter. It's upstairs. Oh my she wrote God. me a letter. You know what I mean? Hey, let's, you know, she goes, welcome to the show. You know what I mean? My name is Jamie Lee Curtis. You know, Bobby, um, you know, maybe we'll develop a relationship. I don't know what. That's so sweet. Okay, that's very nice, sweet. Yeah. And it has, you know her name on the th- like printed Just on the also thing. knowing what kind of guy you are and like how like nervous you get in these types of things the fact that someone would like reach out and be like hey like, yeah, she's, let's go t- get lunch let me by the by the way i, I I'm, I'm not I, she's better a, a better person than i've ever met anyone else in the industry in you no know, in life really in fucking life bro she's just there's not a bad bone in her body man she's just like she does back rubs. Like, you know how you're like hanging out at a lunch or something? And she'll just do, just rub your back. Mm-hmm. And then a, a fucked up person like me will count how long her, she's rubbing you. <laughs> 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 because I'm like, in uh, 20 more seconds, I'm out. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? If she keeps rubbing, I'm going to have to do something. <laughs> like, why? What would you do? Uh, or, or like, I'm going to go have a cigarette or whatever. You know what I mean? <laughs> or, some, or something. Yeah. But she's, you know, she's a rubber. Motherly. Yeah. In a mo- way motherly way. So she wrote a letter, and then th- that night, she texts me. I don't know how she's... She goes, lunch tomorrow at noon. 
I love this already. Mm-hmm. Why? She's like so like um, like a mother hen. Yeah, and also it's like imagine be, me being scared, me thinking that I'm not going to be able to meet anybody. So I meet her at noon downstairs at the restaurant, and Janina's there, Cheyenne's there, and Penn Gillette's there. He's in. Oh wow! You know Penn Gillette? Oh, my favorite magician. Of course. Yeah, yeah. Babe. So Penn Gillette's there, and um, we just had this dinner, with, and then Kevin Hart walks by with his entourage like 50 people <laughs> yeah but they're like beautiful people mm. okay and his his two bodyguards are a little suspect i love those guys fuck those guys remember what happened uh, yeah yeah Wait, they're a little suspect they're bullies they're not they were so <laughs> nice. I, I, i'll have to say they're bullies so playing. so this is this is during <laughs> the two weeks that bobby was very lonely and he was eating in the I don't know if Four Seasons would call it a cafeteria because it's a lot higher class than that. But yeah. they had like a restaurant in the in the yeah, yeah. hotel that y- you would eat mm-hmm. at free. Everyone day, right? would eat there. Mm-hmm. And so um, this is when he was really lonely and um, he was really needing some type of like reassurance. And so he sees Kevin Hart's bodyguards and he's already built some type of rapport with them. And so he he was he FaceTimes me. And he's like, hey, babe, I'm eating over here. And he, and he goes over to Kevin Hart's bodyguards. He was like, hey, guys, I want you to meet my girlfriend. But as he turns the phone, I turn my phone to my cat's face. <laughs> and so they're only looking at a cat. Yeah. And they were like, damn, dude, you into bestiality? And uh, let me just say this. Damn. That was a running joke for a month. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I'm saying it to everybody. And yo, yo, just- dog, yo, that guy's fucking, he loves cats, <laughs> Yeah. He was like, he doesn't have a girlfriend, dude. He has a cat. Yeah, yeah. Wait, so, so were that's, they, I think that's where it started. Were they the bullies or? <laughs> I think you were the. Like, <laughs> I think I was the bully. You were the, you ignited it. But it was such a perfect shot of Gooner. Like he was just uh, kind of like this. Yeah. So anyway, um, no, I love those guys. And and so that so then that lunch happened. And then um, I, I went I went to shoot. And um, it was like, um. I don't, well, I, let's tell people what I'm in. Mm-hmm. All right. So there's a movie called Borderlands, and it's about it's based on the video game, and Eli Roth is directing it, and it's got a lot of big people: Jamie Lee Curtis, Edgar Ramirez, Kate Blanchett, Kevin Hart, Jack Pla- Jack Black plays Cap- Claptrap, mm-hmm. the robot, robot. and then there's uh, Janita's in it, and she's she's saved my life by the way. That girl, I love that girl, and then um. My little friend from England, Charles. Charles. Yeah. Oh, there it is. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Look. Yeah, oh. I'm not in there. Florian's in this? <laughs> oh, wow, guys. Do you know Florian? Yeah, he was in a Creed 2. He's jacked. He's huge. Yeah, yeah. I like Florian. So that's it. So that's what was that's in the movie. And that's who was in the hotel. And um But then so I so I went to shoot, right? So I, you go to this desert and it's like thousands of people. Oh, like extras, like, and I play a soldier, right? Much like, see right below where Edgar Ramirez's photo. Yeah, that's basically what we're wearing. Okay, this red like stormtrooper sh- sh- suit, metal, the whole thing. It's in, it's hot as fuck, and there's hundreds of us in the desert, and I'm wearing the. So, they're like, put the helmet on. They put my head in a ponytail. It was a beautiful ponytail. Yeah, thank oh, wow. you. The helmet wouldn't fit. Mm-hmm. Of course. And they, they, and they, they were shooting. They don't understand Korean heads. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. My head's too big for my body. <laughs> and so they're like about to shoot. So the fucking wardrobe, they fucking start yanking out all the padding out of the helmet. <laughs> oh, like last minute. <laughs> last minute. Just r- ripping all the head, right? They finally get on my head. What they don't realize is without the padding, <laughs> it, they're just metal <laughs> spikes. Scraping your face. Right? Scraping like this. Two metal spikes. <laughs> Four metal spikes right here in my eye, <laughs> pushing my eye in. It's a heavy fucking metal thing. Oh. And all, all, as soon as it's on my head, I start getting a headache. Oh, right? Man. And I'm going, ow, 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 right? And I'm sweating too. I'm sweating this, right? And the take takes for 20 minutes. It's like the people are just running with fucking machine guns and there's, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Mach- uh, spacecrafts, yeah. you know what I mean? And all kinds of shit going on. Meanwhile, I'm with a gun in the <laughs> desert with with a hundred, and then and then the and then the fucking um, sound guy goes, you know, 
you're going to be wearing that helmet the whole time. <laughs> oh, my God. He thought you were an extra. Yeah. And I go, what do you mean? He goes, even when you say you're lying, you're going to wear the helmet. I guess so no one's going to know I'm in the movie. <laughs> <laughs> and he goes, nope. So imagine for the first six hours, I'm yeah. in the desert with that information in my head, mm-hmm. my head in pain. Yeah. Right? With the thing going, <laughs> oh, this is hell. <laughs> oh, my God. This is hell on earth. But also, I, I, want to so de- I want everyone to like me so desperately <laughs> that I don't complain. Right? I don't go, hey, you know, I think I'm going to go bl- blind. I'm bleeding. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> So then, um, then at six hours later, they, they have a scene where me and Janina, I, I hand her a gun and I go, there's a creature, we should shoot it, you know what I mean? And I said it, I said it with the helmet on in rehearsal. Yeah. And then Eli comes up to me and goes, hey man, um, why are you wearing the helmet? Oh, you wore the helmet? <laughs> yeah, because the guy, the sound guy, the sound guy <laughs> fucked, you over. fucked me over for six hours. Well, my <laughs> question was, wouldn't, why wouldn't you question that? Because they did your hair so beautifully. If yeah. you had to wear the helmet the whole time, why do they put so much effort into your hair? Oh, yeah. I, 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 but that doesn't come to my head because it's like, why, do they, why are they like adjusting like one little tiny fucking nail on your shoe? Yeah. Oh. You mean they're so like precise about everything? So I don't know. Right, but then, you know, Eli goes, "You're not wearing the helmet. You're fu- come on, man." I go with the, the sound guy, the guy Sergey. <laughs> you know what I mean? Sad. You know what I mean? At this point, what were your eyes like? I had like definitely like spots on my face, <laughs> on my head, but I didn't wear the helmet again through the whole movie. Poor babe. And then I and then there you go. And then you're there for like 16 hours, just standing there in the desert, and then the next day. I think, okay, I'm going to stand in the desert still more. That's fine. But then all of a sudden they go, oh, we switch things around. You're, we're doing your scene. And I don't know. Oh, you don't know the line. I don't know it. Oh, man. I don't know the scene. I thought it was next week. So they're switching it around. Let's go, let's go to the, 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 the church. Cause, and with Kevin, Kevin's waiting for you to rehearse. So I'm just like, oh, my God. And you go there, and it's like hundreds of people, uh, c- cameras, uh, everyone's there. Stressful. Eli's there. And I rehearsed it, and I fucking nailed it. Good job, babe. I nailed the first take. Then I shot one scene, like one take, and Eli just basically goes, just, just do another one. We got it. It's excellent. Ooh. How Papa has grown. And then nice. he texted me that night, really, really cool. <laughs> Is that my good? This is gross. We have to edit this. No, stuff. no, this is great. It, uh, I like I like this stuff as a someone that. You no, know, I, I don't think you. I think you're gonna make fun of me. No, I'm not. So he literally texted me and he, and he emailed me and he goes, "I'm so glad I hired you. You killed it." And ever then after that, I could talk to people. I see. Why are you smiling like that? No, I. You're acting I, gross. You're, like, like, you're thinking that I'm saying something. Oh uh, my! I haven't said I'm not a doing word. anything. I'm just telling you the way it is, baby. So wait, after that, you got sad. Then after that, they're like, all right, you have two and a half weeks off. <laughs> Jeez, you know what I mean? Hey, guys, we're going to take a really quick break to share some of our like favorite sponsors. ZipRecruiter.com Hiring can really feel like trying to find a needle in a haystack. Don't mm. you agree? I Maybe? do. Sure, you can post your job to some job board, but then all you do is hope that the right person comes along, which is why you should try ZipRecruiter for free at ZipRecruiter.com slash belly. Sweetie, what if we lost George and Gilbert? I would celebrate. But how would we be what? able to re- <laughs> How would we replace them? What site would we go on? You know what I would do? I would go to ZipRecruiter.com. When you post the job on ZipRecruiter, it gets sent out to over 100 top job sites Job sites with one click. Then ZipRecruiter's matching technology finds people with the right skills and experience for your job and actively invites them to apply, in which case would be very easy for us. In fact, ZipRecruiter is so effective that four out of five employers who post on ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate within the first day. You hear that, George? Get One break. day, George. Quality candidate. Be very afraid. It's no wonder over 2.3 million businesses have come to ZipRecruiter.com for their hiring Flash needs. Belly. So while other companies overwhelm you with way too many options, ZipRecruiter finds you what you're looking for, the needle in the haystack. And right now you can try ZipRecruiter for free at this web address, ZipRecruiter.com slash belly. Once again, remember to go to this unique place, ZipRecruiter.com slash B-E-L-L-Y. ZipRecruiter, the smartest way to hire. Better help. 
better hell. What interferes with your happiness? A lot. Like? Lots. <laughs> no, a lot of things interfere with my happiness. You know, my trauma, thinking too much. Anxiety. You know, bl- anxiety, blaming myself for things. Depression. But you know what? Um, I've been much better since going on to BetterHelp and finding my therapist. BetterHelp will assess your needs and match you with your own licensed professional therapist. You can connect in a safe and private online environment. It's so convenient, and you can start communicating with a therapist in under 48 hours. This is our one of our fa- favorite sponsors because uh, this is something that me and Kalila and use. Um, Not only that, but we truly believe that everybody should keep the pastures in their life green, and a way to do that is to have a therapist. Well, what I love about it, it's more affordable than tra- traditional offline counseling. And financial aid is available. The service available is available for clients worldwide, and um, it's confidential. It's convenient. It's professional, affordable. It's just really, really a great service, guys. And they have licensed professional counselors who are specialized in everything from um, stress, anxiety, depression, anger, grief, self-esteem. Tell us more about it, Gil. If you want to start living a happier life today, as a listener, you'll get 10% off your first month by visiting our sponsor at BetterHelp.com slash Belly. Join over 1 million people who have taken charge of their mental health. Again, that's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash Belly. Enjoy the rest of the show. And I'm like... Is that why I saw you on Skyrim all the time? Yeah. He's back on uh, Skyrim. Yeah. I was like, I wanted to play uh, all Warzone. No, no, no. I, I'm Skyrim. done with the Warzone, by the way, for the rest of my life. Why? What happened? You quit. Because I was I brought my PlayStation out to fucking Hungary, and I was like, oh, you know, one of those days, uh, the first day off I had, I go. Can I can I um, explain the phone call about how you were done with Warzone? Oh yeah, yeah, go ahead. Is. Babe, I just I'm calling to let you know I'm done. I'm done. I'm like, what are you done with? I'm done with Warzone. I swear to God, I'm like, what happened? I don't know. I was just hanging out. I got shot in the head 15 times. No, that's not what. I- <laughs> That's not what it is. Rage quit? That's not what it is. It wasn't that? No, it was, I'm playing <laughs> multiplayer, and I'm on in the world. All of a sudden, there's a sniper. He shoots me down. Mm. Okay, I re, you know what I mean? Respond. Respawn. Ten seconds later, sniper. Mm. I, I died like 20 times, 15 to 20 times in a row from a sniper, and I just literally went, yeah, I, this is not fun. I'm not good. And then, you, you know, I go, you know, no, what I did was I go, you know what? Maybe I'll... Get smoke bombs. <laughs> I just keep throwing them on the ground. Yeah, so I throw a smoke bomb down, right? And I, you know what I mean? I'm crouched, right? And the smoke dissipates, <laughs> and then I die. <laughs> <laughs> you just and wait for it to me. dissipate? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, you run in circles, too, sometimes. You run in a circle. They're so good. You're dead. Oh, man. Yeah, so I'm done forever. I haven't wow. played it in, like, a month. Wow. So I played Skyrim again. And then, then Janina... Gabankar, how do you say her last name? I think that's correct. Gabankar? Yeah. Um, she was in a movie with Ben Affleck, the movie before, you know, Al Madrigal, the basketball movie. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. And I'm telling you, this girl literally saved my life because she plays my commander in the movie. And she had this, basically the same days off that I had. And we just hung out for two and a half weeks. It seems like she also played a commander in your real life in Hungary. Yeah, she's like, let's go to a fucking uh, escape room. Escape room. <laughs> we went to like six escape rooms a day. Six? How many escape rooms does Hungary have? It's like a Starbucks. It's like they have it every, every <laughs> Really? Point. What kind yeah. of market is this? That's well, Apparently that's where it started. Oh. oh. Yeah, yeah. And they're like intricate. And I suck at it and I may never do it. I'll probably never do it again. I did it with Edgar a couple times. Yeah. Yeah. He's very good. Oh, did you, so did you ever tell Edgar about... No. So what happened was Edgar, too, had like a week off. Mm-hmm. And all of a sudden, he's just like, there he is, my man. <laughs> my boy. My boy. <laughs> and then he goes, give me your number. And I gave him a number. And then like it, this, every time I look at him, I'm like, God, this just gives me so much joy <laughs> that Kalila will, Kalila will never meet this guy. <laughs> Like I have a better chance of. I've already up met with this him, dum dum. Where? Uh, we were at a party, and you were talking to a bunch of other people, and he was oh, at the bar. Right. Yeah. And I was at the bar, and we locked eyes, and I, I, I immediately was like, "Oh my god, that's Edgar Ramirez!" I turned around, and walked the other way. Yeah, and I met, brought that up to him. She, he doesn't remember. <laughs> <laughs> Such a jerk. <laughs> FYI, you know what I mean? I go, "Do you remember my girlfriend at the CAA party?" He goes, "He doesn't remember." My point is, is <laughs> this, okay? <laughs> Don't get angry. My point is, is this: is that there were times where um, him and I would just be in 
his hotel room watching movies. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's where we got, like, laying around. What a sad world that my fat boyfriend (laughs) has a better shot at getting with my hall pass in a hotel than room. I ever in a hotel will. room. Yeah, in yeah. a fancy Four Seasons Since. in Hungary. I have I have it on tape. That what I know I saw. What? I saw I know, you, but did you you telling him that um Did you see it? Did you guys see it? No. He goes, no way. Did you send it to Gilbert? <laughs> this is getting, I don't want to t- talk about this movie the whole time, fucking time. People have kind of been waiting, well, though. All right, so th- oh, here's the, here's one stressful moment. I just want to just, before you go move forward, before yeah. we move forward, I just want to say, while I, um, your proximity to Edgar Ramirez yeah. makes him no longer my hall pass. Good. Oh, that was and that was my goal. Yeah. That was my call. Because as soon as there is a connection. Because he's my hall pass now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you traded? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, he's pretty hot. He's got a big head. I like it. Well, also the likelihood of, yeah. of me having sex with Natalie Portman. Yeah. Far greater than the likelihood of you Happy. having sex with Natalie my, Portman. And then me same with Edgar Ramirez. Wow. Works oh, that's, I believe that. But thank you. A thousand percent. Accept it. I, I in fact, it in I, I think no, in fact, I think that mine could happen like, faster because say, you don't know no Natalie Portman. But, but, can I just say this? Yeah, yeah. Can I just say this? Yeah. Soon as you're done, yeah, right, doing your stuff with him, you can suck the cum. I will suck you, the shit out. of you. <laughs> you suck. That's you can you suck my suck. cum out of his asshole. You can basically <laughs> no, no. Yeah, I'm you going can to suck g- my warm cum out of his fucking dong dong. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah. I could. No, I was yeah, yeah. just saying that I'm open to you having that experience yeah, yeah. and that I, I've reconciled with the fact that I, it's, it might, my fantasy has been popped. Would you like to put out a new male a hall pass? Yeah, I think I'm going to. Please do, because I will meet him. Th- that's before you. So, Eddie, throw it out there. <laughs> I will meet him. I, I'm the fucking hall pass fucking conduit. The hall okay. Pass monitor. Yeah, okay, I'm a monitor. So Go all ahead. All monitor. Two of yeah, them. Yeah. So I want, I want, um, Mahershala Ali. Done. Board That's going to be my best friend. Go ahead. <laughs> He's going to be a blade. Mahershala. And then second is, um, Killian Murphy as Thomas. Ooh. I bet you money. I'll meet him before you. I just have a feeling I'd get along with both of them. I have better. a feeling that I'll meet them before. And I have a feeling that, you I mean, you'll be sucking my cum out of their asses. <laughs> 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 Your cum always in their ass. You know what? I'll take second hand cum. All right. <laughs> So then oh. you, <laughs> fuck. So it's, a good it's getting weird. It's getting weird, guys. Yeah. It's getting weird, guys. Um, so here's a a cool thing was one, but see here's the Kate Blanchett uh, thing was like I just let this is the last time I'm ever gonna talk about it. Yeah. Okay. Is is that there's just something about I'm because I'm such a big fan of hers. There's just something about her being there and and talking to you that it's just like it's just not. It's kind of like. You just want to get out of the situation. What do you She's mean? She's so sweet. Oh. And nice. I just don't want to say the wrong thing. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And but it got to the point where one time we were having lunch and she was sitting next to me and Josh Hartnett oh. yeah. was sitting next to me. And for three hours we just laughed. It was it was cool, man. I had some really cool moments on that movie, man. And when I got back, I was just like, I'll never see these people again. Hey, Jules and Kalila. Yeah. We're losers. I mean, the wedding list is growing longer. What do you mean? You invite all these people. Oh here. my god! <laughs> all the borderlands. Yeah, I think that. Yeah. I, how? How? Honestly, yeah, be yeah. real. Yeah. If you put out a wedding invite now, yeah. how heartbroken would you be if like all of them turned it down? They probably would. I don't expect it. I expect it already. Because everyone's busy and, and all that stuff, and it's like I'm I'm more of a visitor. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm. I'm a, listen. Do I have a great podcast and a good vibe going on in my life? Yeah. I love this vibe. I love all four, three of you, right? And this is my family, and this is what I do, right? I I see the red. What's the the red? Andrew Santino. (laughs) Oh, Oh, speaking of which. No, but let me just finish my point. Yeah, go ahead. I see the red, and I, I, I enjoy what I have with him. 
and I enjoy what my life is. You know, this is my life. And every once in a while, you know, you get invited to do other things and you just take it in. It's life. I'm 50 years old. Mm -hmm. What's that? I'm just showing for the audience. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to superimpose my face on Janina's face. <laughs> yeah, and I'm going to frame it. I think it. you could. I think you could. Oh, also, one last thing I want to say is that there's, there's a young girl. There, she, there I am. That guy, Ben Davis, good dude. That guy, there you go. That's hard. Wow, enough. babe. What? The Hollywood pop. <laughs> <laughs> the one last thing I want to say, and I, wanna, I don't want to talk about the movie ever again. Is there's this young girl though on it mm -hmm. named Ar Ariana Gle Greenblatt, bro? This girl is so fucking talented. It it bothers me. <laughs> How old is she? She's like, like fourteen, right? Fourteen or whatever. But she's so confident and so good. Like she just did a movie with Adam Driver. You know what I mean? Where she was the co-star. She's doing adult films yeah. as a young girl, and it's like just it's just she's got a bright future ahead of her that's, that's us doing escape rooms good for her being with all these adults Killing yeah her parents are cool that's my friend charles and it was there's emmy ari so that guy ari and emmy they do so that guy right there right that guy right there and the asian lady yeah emmy they did they did morbius oh uh sony's uh, Ryan spider man yeah. yeah so they did ghost in the shell they do. They do all these gigantic. Looks like you'll be having some reunions pretty soon. What do you mean? I mean, if you were in this, and I know, I just you know, but those are two people. Good. It's good to know them because they do these gigantic. You know what I mean? Blockbusters. Blockbuster y hundred and fifty million dollar movies. So that's it. I don't want to talk about it anymore. Hey, thank you. Thank you. I'm excited. That's awesome. You could be back. Oh. Out in theaters, whenever. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Boy, my life has not been as exciting. In fact, it has been a dreadful. I know. Dreadful well, what you're weeks. going through is the polar opposite. <laughs> polar opposite. <laughs> I believe. What you're, can we talk about stuff? No, no, no. Stuff? We shouldn't. We shouldn't Why? talk about it. We shouldn't talk about it. Can we just vaguely go around it? Um, let me just. Um, can we just vaguely I, go around I'm it? I'm going to vaguely make a statement. Right now? And my, my statement is that. Let's get to the camera. Holy shit! I, I I I didn't know it could be this bad, but let's leave it at that. Okay, I want to let let you know. Yeah. This, is I view your situation as you're in the big leagues now. There's nothing big. I got big leagued. I I there's nothing big, big league about big, us. No, just listen to what I'm <laughs> saying. Okay, forget the big league analogy because I don't know where to go with it. <laughs> Small, <laughs> medium league. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Know. No, I'm just saying that like you're in a game. Yeah. Right. And you're up to bat, mm -hmm. right? And sometimes the pitches are weird, mm -hmm. right? Sometimes you'll hit it. Sometimes, you know, you'll strike out, right? But the key is to keep batting because you're going to hit one. Mm -hmm. And you're going to hit a home run. Mm -hmm. And I think that that's the most important thing. Like, I'll be honest with you. Um, my pride, I have such great pride when it comes to you. Because, um, and I've, I've been talking to other people like my agents and other people about you and i i just I ne never in my life did i ever date a woman that i would see if, that i felt was my um my equal oh that's not a good thing to say no 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 no, no, no not in the sense that no don't no no not in the sense that like you know what i mean they're they're all great right but it's somebody that i can spar with that's right mm, that's someone that i can spar with and i i'll probably lose right but somebody that like <laughs> takes, you know what I mean, the little bits of opportunity, right? And you work hard and you make those little things into, you know, little seeds and they grow. And um, what you w did while I was gone, we don't want to get into details about it, but was very brave and impressive. And everyone said it. Like everyone that I talked to was like, God, your girlfriend is amazing. And I go, I know. She's she's a beast. And it's like, you know, you and I, I want to produce things with you. I want to create things with you. And I know we're going to make some magic. Some of it might not work. You know what I mean? But um, I trust you on every level. So I'm just super, I look up to you and I'm enamored by you. And I, um, I'm just very lucky to have you in my life. That's so sweet. And I'm being real. No, I'm no. so lucky. I, I won the lottery. 
Oh, oh, come on, sweetie. Bring no, it in. No, I don't want to touch you. <laughs> Bring I it in. I don't want to touch you, but I literally, I, I honestly, I feel that. But you, I won the lottery with you. As, uh, I hate having these like gross, cheesy. We're not. Like, not real, no, 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 no. I don't want to hear yours because yours is going to be like. I need to, to say it. Here we go. It's hers are really good. I need to say it. They're really good. Yes, I, I, I take small, tiny seeds. I thought you were going to give me a compliment. And I water them, <laughs> I right? Thought gonna, I thought you were going to give me a compliment. <laughs> but I can't do that without soil. You're Ooh, my soil. She's good. She's good. <laughs> fucking dirt, guys. <laughs> <laughs> really You're good. You're the dirt. I'm the fucking dirt. You're the dirt, dirt yeah. that I needed yeah, yeah, yeah. for fertil- my seeds to grow. Uh, good fertilizer. Yeah. Good fertilizer. So what, what have you guys been? How's, your, how's being dad? Oh, real good. Kid's getting cuter every day. Super He's got a cute. large... Uh, Did he speak yet? Um, he says a goo. A goo, what does that mean? It's just the first words they can say. Oh, so he has starts to have a little conversation. Is there recognition there? Uh he's it's it's fun because he's like makes eye contact now. Ooh. Oh, right. So he knows who you are. Yep. Do you feel that or no? Well, I'm the one one of the two people who takes care of him and uh sometimes gets him to stop crying by giving him a binky. Oh, yeah. So, uh, oh, he will cry? Oh, come on, yes. Oh, come on, bud. Oh, yes. Come over. That's a dad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you, he does cry, but is, is let me ask you something, because this is what I hear. Is the love real deep? Mm-hmm. Beyond? Like, yeah. at, like, in terms of things that you've loved in your life. Of all the things you've Of all the things, like food. I like, because I love pizza, mm-hmm. right? I like it more than pizza. So oh, you love it more than pizza? Yeah. Okay. That's how about all your, he needs to know. How about your car? Ooh. Have you ever had a good car that you loved? Yeah. I like my car at the moment. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do you love your baby more than your car? I would trade my car for my baby. Oh, you would? Yeah. How about this? Let me ask you this. And this is a good... Cause okay. Would you trade your own life for your baby? I think... Probably. I think uh, Yeah. I think just, there's just a natural... Like, if there was a split-second decision... No, no, no. Not split no. second. Oh, just a choice. I'll give you the. T- you have a I'm a doctor. You have a year long. Okay. Oh, right. I hate these babies. Oh no. I know. This is just all right. Well, let's just try it. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a doctor, and I go. Good news and bad news. <laughs> I'll be your wife. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The good news and bad news. Good news is that your son, you know what I mean, has this illness, but we have a complete way to treat it. Oh, thank God. Okay. Well, no. I hate these scenarios. I know. Let's just try it. Can I just finish it? Let's see what kind of dad he is. Right? The I bad the, news I, is I that... defensive. And the f- bad news is that, you know, we have to l- use your life essence to save your baby, and you're going to have to die. Can I have other kids? No, you're going to be dead. What are you talking about? You can't have a, a ghost dad? No, no. If I live, <laughs> Love uh, that does, movie. It take, uh, does it take my... Uh... No, you're dead. It's... We have to... You're going to die to save your baby's life. It's life if death. I'm alive, can I have, like, five more kids? Oh, yeah. I'd still, I'd, I'd still sacrifice myself for this one. He's damn cute. Oh, that that answer alone. That's it. Here's how I know. Well, you wouldn't? Huh? You wouldn't? Of course I fucking would. I do it for my dogs. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I'm, I'm crazy. Like when I love, I love in, in, in a way that is just probably very unhealthy. I would have a second question though to the doctor. My doctor, it would be like, all right. So hey, you, um, your baby has a disease. Yeah, uh, we're in need. I can't get into specifics, but we need your life essence. Okay, and you will die to save your child. And my follow-up question is this, and this is probably going to sound weird. It's okay. Is it going to hurt? It's an important question. Uh, when we remove your life essence, it will yeah. hurt you. You will be in excruciating pain, something you've never felt before. How long? So there's two methods. The only method we have available is the three-day one. <laughs> there is a quicker pill, but we ran out. You don't have a 48-hour one? I'm sorry. We have a three-day we one. We ran out of our barbiturates. You don't have a two. <laughs> Does Pfizer have a, like a, a one? I'm sorry. We're, we yeah. re- relocated to other countries. Oh, really? It's a three-day. It's a three-day one. Agonizing. So you're saying that. I- you tell me, what's the most agonizing thing in your mind, you would think? A metallic helmet on my head <laughs> without any padding. <laughs> Well, it's like that, but worse. Oh, it is? Yeah. So it's basically, it's going to be, uh, now where will I be? Can I do it at home? Uh, no, actually, we do it in front of uh, people. Oh, you do it? It's a showcase. We, we bring your closest friends and family. Uh, oh, right. Yeah. Can I ask you this? Can I be on drugs for it? You know what? I'll give you that. Oh, I can have opiates? It will. You can have opiates, but it will add two more days. 
Five days. Five days of excruciating. Five pain. days. I'd well, rather child. take five days with opiates. Why wouldn't that be an option out. before? I'd have to. I, I wanted to test you. All right. Okay. Also, just like OD on the opiates. Be gone. Oh, that's a good point. First yeah. day, one and done. So, like, yeah, I would do it. Wow. Okay, let's do it. I mean, because it's like. You have, you have, you you have to. You have to. Because the alternative is no, and then you're that guy. <laughs> Everyone knows. You didn't save your kid. That's fucking weird. And like, I know, but here I am, guys. <laughs> Let's go bowling. Yeah, no one wants to hang, <laughs> no, <laughs> no no one's gonna hang, hang out with that guy. With you. Yeah. Um, but if I had to choose between you and a two-month-old baby I had, I'd choose you. I'd be like, no, you're not doing that. Why? Because I love you more than that baby. Um, Baby, th- baby you can't say that. I do. I'm sorry. I've known that baby for two months. So that so basically, what you're saying you've, you're a, you're you're a, an entity with a whole set of fifty years of experience that I've loved for a decade. I don't want to lose you. That is sweet, but you might fall in love with your child because you'd be the mother. Yeah, but look, I, I would have to tell you. I would be like, listen, sweetie. No, I don't want to live without you. We lost a child to a grave disease, and I'm sorry that that's just the cards that were dealt. But I'm not going to lose you are sorry that this happened to our child. We're going to grieve. It's going to hurt, but I'm not going to lose you. Yeah, but I would make you do it. <laughs> God damn it. Yeah, I'd be like, you're going to do it. I don't care. We're saving the kid. So you want me to die? No, me. You're saying that you would. You don't no, want... No, hold on. What if the life oh. hasn't had to come for me? I, I go, I'll, I'll ask you, what do you want to do? And then I, I'm going to say, I want to save my child. Then let's do it. And then you'd be, you, you wouldn't stop me. <laughs> no, because that's <laughs> you fucked yourself up. For no, shut up! No, shut up! Let's shut up! Shut the fuck up! No, no, let me ask. No, no, no. the best at. This I know. Scenario, let me ask you something. Honestly, okay? you just said. You just said I was a seed plant. I, 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 no, I just you asked you. The seed I just asked you. What do you want to do? I said you were my soil. Yeah, I asked you. What wow. do you want to do? Because if you said I want to live, then I'd be like, that's your choice. So bye, baby. But you <laughs> said that you would want to risk your life. So then I'm like, let's do it. Because I would feel pressure. And then you'd have to be the, the, the person of sound mind to be like, Kalila, no. Like, we need you. Okay. Hey, Cut. guys, I read the report wrong. Actually, your baby's going to be fine. So <laughs> we're good here. You guys don't have to All do right. this anymore. She's this is a stuff. weird scenario. Hey, guys, we're taking another quick break to share some of our favorite sponsors. Freshly. Huh. You guys, Freshly is amazing because um, I come home sometimes. I'll see a Freshly box outside my door. And I get really excited because it's easy to make and it's high quality um, food that you just microwave or you heat up. I, um, I grew up with uh, microwavable foods because mm-hmm. my parents are lazy. And, um, and, I, and the quality, I remember as a kid going, this is not good. You know what I mean? You, with and, Freshly. But, but with Freshly, you, you, when you eat it, it's like it, you can tell that every little thing is thought through and yeah. it's fresh. And it's, you know, if it's a good meal. Go ahead. Grocery shopping and cooking can be a pain, especially for someone like Bobby. But with Freshly, it doesn't have to be a pain. Your meals arrive cooked and fresh every week mm-hmm. so you can keep your fridge stocked and skip. And you can skip the trip to the store. Ordering is easy. Visit Freshly.com and choose from over 30 delicious, satisfying, better-for-you meals like steak peppercorn, Ooh. sausage baked penne, or their chicken pesto bowl. Right now, Freshly is offering our listeners $40 off your first two orders when you go to Freshly.com slash belly. Stop stressing about dinner. Go to Freshly.com slash belly for $40 off your first two orders. That's Freshly.com slash belly for $40 off your first two orders. For him, Tim's, him, losing hand, you need to get it back. Him, <laughs> Tim, Tim's. You guys, 50, 66. 66. 66% of men start to lose their hair by the age of 35. You hear me? Yeah. Once you've noticed thinning hair, it can be too late, guys. Is that hairline slowly starting to move backwards? Any bald spots yet? The best way to prevent more hair loss is to do something about it while you still have some. That's why. Why do guys? Why do guys turn to weird solutions or do nothing when they turn to when they can turn to medicine and science? Forhims.com is a one-stop shop for hair loss and skincare for men. It's time to write a new chapter, guys. One which you could have hair. Oh, yeah, Ron Howard. <laughs> These aren't snake oil pills or gas station counter supplements. These are prescription solutions backed by science. Let me say that again. These are prescription solutions backed by science. Hims was created by a guy who knows some men's health conversations are easier online than in person. No more <clears throat> awkward in-person doctor visits or long pharmacy lines. For Hims connects you to licensed medical professionals online, so which could save which could save you hours. Completely confidential and discreet. 
Today, Hims is giving you their best offer yet. If you're not happy with your results after 90 days, Hims will give you a full refund. And right now, Tiger Belly listeners can get their first visit absolutely free. Go to 4 slash belly. That's 4 slash belly. Disclaimer, prescription products require an online consultation with a healthcare provider who will determine if a prescription is appropriate. Restrictions apply. See website for full details and important safety information. Remember, that's 4 slash belly. Enjoy, Enjoy the rest of the show. Yep. I'm okay. sorry. It's good. I'm sorry, You babe. want me dead. No, I don't. <laughs> seat, I just asked you. The you seat you that to, Yeah, yeah. Talk so about you're, this so therapy. You, so your son, any problems with him? Oh, my God, Bobby, will you get <laughs> off this topic? No, I don't want to. And last one, we can edit it. Any problems with him? No, he's great. He's got a 99th percentile head because he's half Korean, so... Uh, huh? oh, okay. How about you, Gilbert? So how you're getting married? I uh, got Oh, congrats, en- I got engaged. I uh, Gilbert got engaged. Was inspired I know that. By, I asked. Inspired by George Kimmel, and I did it. Just pulled the trigger. And so when is that going to happen? Her, her parents' wishes are don't do it anytime soon. Oh, God. Because of COVID. What? Oh. They would, oh, they would want, COVID. like, family from countries. Oh, right, 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 right. Yeah, yeah wait a couple years. But I'm thinking... Uh, we would do it in Hawaii so everyone can have a fun trip. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Well, destination weddings are Destinies. a little bit tricky, but I think that you Is there anything... <laughs> what? Is there any, any scenario... <laughs> oh my God. He, he brings the baby, baby, guys. Yeah, yeah, prepare yourself. Are there any, is there any other scenario in the future that it wouldn't happen? Like what? N- no. That the wedding's off? No. That there's was, no that, scenario. No, there's a scenario that would, it would have happened in that four years. That was the tumultuous part. Was getting to know each other, uh-huh. all the therapy. We're Can I good. give you another scenario? Yeah, go ahead. Okay, let me just give you a scenario. But be a doctor in this situation. No, I'm not a doctor. I'm a producer. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm going to stay with my wife. Uh, all right, well, you I didn't even hear my fucking thing. You're going to say like Borderlands Two. No, 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 I'm not. Embarrassed. No, just listen to my fucking deal, dude. Okay. Yeah, take the meeting. Okay. Wait, wait. Uh, you got to take the meeting with the producer. Well, give me like I need a scenario. name. What company? My name is um, John Coke. Leibowitz. Uh-huh. Very familiar. Standard. John Leibowitz. Standard, yeah. And I work for Shh, Kaboom, Kaboom Productions. Oh, the right. S- John <laughs> Leibowitz, Kaboom Productions. It's a cleaning product. All right. Kabazanza. There we go. Kabazanza Productions. There's, there's money there. So come into the meeting. Hey, Gilbert, sit down. Oh, thanks, man. Huge fan of the, your work. In fact, you know, I just think that there would be no tiger belly without you. Oh, don't tell Bobby that. He'll, <laughs> he'll, he'll kill me. <laughs> I know. He's terrible, but the foundation is definitely you. And uh, Thank you. you know, I listen every week, and my family listens every week because of you. You're great. Thank you so much. And I, I just, big fan. Yeah. And, you know, I looked at your um, all your work, mm-hmm. you know, your YouTube work, and I saw, <laughs> I saw, <laughs> I saw some of your Chicago work, too. Great. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. When you were singing that song. Ah, oh, damn. When you were ga- you gained a little weight yep. when you were singing that song. I'm getting there Amazing. now. <laughs> Thank you. And um, listen, I'll tell you something. And also, um, give it to him straight, babe. I'm gonna tell you. I'm so, sorry. Do you have another producer here? Oh, this, oh wait, are you wait, are you the seed planter? I am. Yeah. It's the seed. Yeah, yeah. So, anyway, I want to just cut to the chase. Um, we want to. What we want to do is we we we've, we have all these um, franchises. You know, we we've got the uh, the rights and the IP of IP. Is that the right word? Uh huh. Yeah. Of, of uh, some of these franchises, and we want to make sure. huge movies, and we just don't like your wife oh. or your fiance. My fiance, yeah, yeah, and we just think that because we want you to make you a leading man. What's we her want... name? We don't know. That's how. Oh, that's... so you don't? That's how much I dislike. You don't know if you her. like her or not? You don't yeah, know. Yeah, her. yeah, yeah. Okay, interesting. I don't like your tone. I'm a producer, John Leibowitz here. Oh, uh, you're, like you're a fan of my work. I'm the heart and soul. Thank you for the meeting. I'll... Okay, the beating. I'll see you later. <laughs> I'll see you later. I'm okay, I'm sorry. Let me hear your proposal. I apologize. Go ahead. I mean, you don't talk to a producer like that. Right? I'm sorry. You can talk to him any which way you want, Gil. Okay. Thank you, Seed Planter. Okay. Mm-hmm. We want you to be the lead. We don't want you to be married. We we want you to be single. And, um, you know, in order for this deal to go through, we give you a six-picture deal. Oh, that does sound... Yeah, yeah and, and, and these are $200 million movies. And, you know... Okay. And we have Chris Pratt on a couple of them. My on. favorite. Yeah, yeah. We've got... Um, okay. But you're billed first. You're billed first. Above Chris, mm-hmm. yeah. Above okay. Chris, uh, rock, r- the Rock, yeah. In a couple of them, he's gonna play the nemesis. You'll be, you're built first. Um, so in order for you to sign the six picture deal, also p- plus you're g- you're gonna make points on the movie, the back end. Love it. And we're also gonna give you twenty million dollars a movie. Wow, that's almost as much as yeah, yeah, yeah. Twenty. So yeah, that's uh, twenty times six. You did the math. 
<laughs> Can you do it? I don't know how to do it. I don't need. I don't know what he's doing. Yeah. I feel cause, because I know million. your fiance, she's yeah. going to be like, take the fucking deal. I'll meet you 10 years from now in Taiwan. <laughs> That's yeah. kind of how with it would play a out. Swimming be, yeah. as a fucking billionaire. But what, we can't catch you with her in anything or the deal's through. We can't catch you with her in any public setting. You, know. you run a tough bargain, yeah, John. I, I John, this is really enticing. So we'll give you six hours to decide. Sure. All right. So what are you going to do? So on this six hours, please play Cindy. Oh, okay. Wait, are you telling me? Yeah. Okay. Hey, fiance? Yeah, what did they say? So literally, I'll just put it out there. They want to offer me all this money. It's 60 <gasps> times, or it's 20 times six. I don't know how much that is, but it's a lot of money. I'm going to be billed above Chris Pratt, your favorite, uh, I love him. We cannot be together anymore. I mean, what is? I would will. I would be willing to be with you still and turn this down. My life's dream. Are you okay with that? I mean, what does that even mean? Are we going to be able to like have sex, hold hands? Kiss? We cannot have. I didn't ask about. One second, John. Yeah. Can I have sex with? My, can I have? <laughs> no. Sex? I can't have sex with you. <laughs> I can't have sex with you. You will never see this foreskin again. And for how many years? Ten years. Take the deal. Will I? Will you be? Will you wait for me? Um. Yeah, I'll take that as a yeah. <laughs> hey, John, hey. I'll sign the papers. Yeah. Okay. Good. Uh, if I'm being, yeah, we would. Talk, I would talk to her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But she's in. So there is. There is a yeah. There, there is a, a way. <laughs> <laughs> hey, want to kill your baby? Leave your wife? <laughs> Who are you? Say there is a way. Sorry. I'm sorry, guys. I like Devil's Advocate, though. It's good. Yeah, we're Test just having to, I'm, I'm, try, I'm, I'm testing, you know. That's true. Your morality and your value system. I already, mm. the, the, if it was turned on you and that same pe- question was posed, yeah. I don't even, it'd be the quickest decision of your life. No, that's not true. Yes. I'll tell you why it's not true. Can I tell you why it's mm-hmm. not true? Because at the level that I'm at now is exactly where I want to be. There's nothing that's above it that I'm interested in or I desire. I don't want it. I don't want to be like, like Kevin couldn't hang out in any of our lunches or anything like that just because of security reasons and whatnot. Oh, wow. Like he's, he just wasn't around. He's so busy too yeah. that he's doing like, oh, no, at six o'clock I have to do my radio show from six to 11 and then I have to do rewrites. I mean, just, he's just constantly busy. Mm-hmm. He's, he's like The Rock. I heard The yeah. Rock is like that as well, mm-hmm. right? And it's like work comes for... I, I'm not like that. I'm, made, I'm not made up like that. I don't want that. This is the level that I want. I love the fans listening right now. I love you guys. I really do. I fucking love you guys. And it, oh my. I love where I'm at. So it's like, no, I wouldn't take it. Why would I need... I, I feel like a millionaire as it is. Yeah. Because I am one. <laughs> Borderlands coming out 2022. Borderlands. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. But you know what I mean? <laughs> I'm, kidding. I'm kidding. I want to set the record straight. <laughs> I'm, I'm kidding. I'm like, I, I got no set, money. I got no money. I want to set the record straight about something. Yeah. On Bad Friends, you said that there's this new guy who came into our lives, right? Mm-hmm. And you painted him out to be somebody that, like, it's just new and random. And then Andrew suggested it was someone that I dated. Mm-hmm. And I just want to set the record straight. You that don't have to. I love your little fucking fabrications that you do yeah, yeah. For, for bad friends. Uh-huh. But I've known my, one of my best friends. Say his name. Corey. Since there high we school. Go. Since high school. Love him. He also was our roommate for a decade. Okay. And also, I don't want to get in a fight. He's with also you, known so Juliana. He's also he's been to the Philippines multiple times, and he's known Juliana since she was four years okay, old. Okay, when Juliana says that she likes him, right? As much as she likes me, that's where I draw the fucking line. Okay, go ahead. Uh, also, she said she likes him because he's funny. Oh no! See, which he is. He's hilarious. He's- <laughs> It's it literally, like, awesome. organically, Bro. just one of the funniest people I've ever been okay, around. Okay, to you. What is the context? To you. Okay, but, the, but back up. The context the, is... The, the, let me just say, thank you, George. Can we roll the clip on Bad Friends? <laughs> yeah, 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 okay. Right? So I want to say, all right, he's hilarious uh-huh. to you. Right. <laughs> okay? It's like, do you, you know how many times, <laughs> as, as a comic, I've been at clubs, and I've met people go, oh, man, I have a friend named William... William Cho, 
He's hilarious, just like you. He cracks everyone up at work. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's not funny though. But see, that's not that, Corey yeah. doesn't try ever to be funny. He, he just not, is himself. He's the nicest guy in the world. Here's where um, a non-negotiable for me. Corey is not a friend. He's my brother. I've I've been through life with him since I was a teenager, and so you can't go ahead and have these competitive feelings with about him because. He's a non-negotiable. I'm keeping him in my life forever. And I and he's not a new person. I also I, I am welcoming welcoming him into my life as well. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's what I'm saying. I'm just bringing it up for comedy purposes. But the fabrications are there's deep. no there's no fabrications. Is there one fabrication? Yeah, give me a fabrication. <sighs> exactly. You said. <laughs> <laughs> you said. Yeah. That I've only known him for two months. Okay. It's again a comedy fabrication. Okay, oh, but that is a fabrication. Yeah, 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 just, yeah. just, just one. All th- comedy is a fabrication. <laughs> everything about you is a fabrication. All stories are fabrications. Yeah, everything that I say on this mic, right, uh, goes through a channel of fabrication. Okay. Yeah, channel five. Yeah. Right. It goes through a thing yeah. in my head. You're a fabric softener. Th- exactly. Basically. Yeah. Right. But my point is, is I have nothing against your best friend and your brother, Corey, uh-huh. who's the Robin Williams of Long Beach or whatever you want to say, right? <laughs> is that what they say? Long Beach? <laughs> uh, wherever he's from, right? I went to high school like, in Pasadena. I, I, I love the guy, yeah. right? I just find it offensive that Jules likes him as much as me. That's all. Uh, mm. You want to be the number one in her life. It's just not that. It's just that it's... Um, Are there other comedians that, that, that you would be okay with that she liked ahead of you? Oh, yeah. What's the he, list for that? Well, Jules, Jules loves John Mulaney, Mulaney, and he will not have it. Oh, okay. That's only because of the tweet thing. Got it. I, yeah. Okay. What that, tweet thing? When I said, when John Mulaney went to rehab, yeah. right, and they, everyone made a big deal out of it, yeah. and I said, I tweeted, I tweeted, <laughs> That's a good one. I've been to four rehabs, and no one gives us gives a fuck. <laughs> that was right, a good tweet. Right? So I, that was the last real comedy tweet that I did, yeah. right? And then I remember I got off of fucking Twitter for yeah, six months. Right, right, right. <laughs> that was what did it? That's what did it. That closed the door because the the visceral comments afterwards, like, um, that's because you're not funny, dude. To oh. me, right? Uh, John Mulaney's like an A-list comic. You're C list, you know what I mean? It just went oh on and on and on. And I, and I was just like, I was just making a joke, but anyway, I'm gonna get off of Twitter because this is very hurtful. You know what I mean? So uh, you know, I like John Mulaney. I know John Mulaney, he's a nice guy. Yeah. And if he was if I was at the fucking Third Street Promenade and Mulaney walked by, we would talk and stuff. I mean, I like the guy. Yeah. yeah. Right? And he likes me, that's fine. It's just that the fucking um toxic Twitter. It, it just got like a like really volatile and uh, and then people are like. After that, we're like questioning my acting ability and all this fucking <laughs> stuff. Like, what? Yeah, you're a terrible actor and all this stuff. And I was just like, I don't need this in my life. And then to top it off, you come home and Jules is like, Tito, I love John. Lennon. Yeah. And then so <laughs> then when she did that, I was just like, okay, I just don't need this in my life right now. That makes yeah, sense. Yeah, that right? makes sense. Thank you. That makes sense. I right? have, yeah. Yeah. I, I think John Mulaney, he's one of those guys, when I see him at the clubs and stuff, mm-hmm. I sit down and, I, and I'm in awe. Even fucking Joey Diaz said this. In front of me, Joey Diaz goes, I wish I could write like that guy. Mm. That guy's writing is at a ne- at the next level, and I'm giving him all the pro- props. But he is, I don't like elitist comedy, and you know that. I don't like elitist anything. What does elitist comedy mean? There's just a, it's, it's like this. It's like, you know, you see all these comics, people below me and above me, or at the same level, have done Conan as a guest, like, you know what I mean, has done Fallon, all these things, I never get asked to do those things because I'm not a part of, I don't think, and it's probably in my head, that elitist, you know what I mean, comedy uh, vibe. It's like, you know, I'll just say it, fucking Polar, Meyer, and they're all in this thing, bubble, Mm -hmm. above, and I'm just like this, you know, edgelord. (laughs) (laughs) so ridiculous. Millionaire, <laughs> Edge Lord, millionaire. millionaire. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's what I am. I'm for the people, baby. My fears have come true. No, my point though is, is <laughs> I didn't even know what Edge Lord means. It sounds good, but I'll tell He's, you. I hate the way he does this too. Uh, he calls me from Hungary. <laughs> He's like, babe, I'm really not having a good day, but 
what does edgelord mean? <laughs> and I was like, why? Someone called me an edgelord. No, not I like just the one way it sounds. Not, not just one person. Eight people. <laughs> Thank you. Weren't you also called a butterfly? Yeah, didn't Gina call you a butterfly all... all... Yeah, she called me a butterfly. And that's, what happened? That's a compliment. Wow. But it was more in, in the script. Oh. Oh, it was part of the script. Yeah. Oh, I thought she was just random. It was just a bit you. that I did. I, I kind of took what was in the script and I said it out loud yeah. in a and different it form. It and worked. It but my point is, is that sometimes I lie and I lie to win. Everyone knows that. Mm. So let's go back to th- this thing, okay? So I, w- 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 what have we learned today? I'm an edgelord millionaire. millionaire. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That I, look, I think Corey is um, hilarious. Uh-huh. All right. And I want to say this. Um, I know how important he is to you. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to do everything I can to accommodate him in terms of my heart, mm-hmm. in terms of like, you know what? I have a lot of defense mechanisms because of just, you know, being an edgelord. <laughs> being, being an edgelord billionaire. <laughs> no. I, I, you know, you, you just as a comic, you have defenses, and you can't let everyone in. You can't. That's a fact. You can't let ever everyone in. But with him, it's like there's a special lane that he all he has to do. Imagine this: the yellow brick road. All right, there's a little yellow brick road that I paved for him. Right into my heart. He just has to follow the fucking road. If he diverts, he's not going to get in. You're just a natural hazer. I'm the best. Mm. And I love you. Are you also Rose Namayunas? Yeah. Say it again. What? I'm, I'm the, the best. best. I'm the best. You know what, though? I learned a lot when she said that. Totally. Yeah. You got to you really? can't walk into an octagon and believe otherwise. And the fact that you you say it out loud and you become you become what you say you are. And and this is going to sound gross, but um maybe I don't know, but um you know that when I was talking about the first scene I did when they said, oh, we're shooting your scene right now, and I didn't know, the only thing I said is repeatedly in my head is, you belong here, you belong here, you belong here, you belong here, you belong here. And I said that to myself a hundred times while I was walking to the set. Nice. Right? Yeah. Because there's a part of me that doesn't belong, feel like he belongs. Mm-hmm. You know, There's a part of me that feels like this is all a sham and they're going to see through it. But that's not true. Yeah. Those things aren't true. These are things that I built, these old tapes that I fucking recorded in my mind that I keep playing over and over again that aren't even fucking true. Well, for you, someone, for people like you and I, like we think self-deprecation is funny, so we shit on ourselves a lot. The problem is that our body yeah. doesn't understand when, it's, when, when, our, when we're joking or when we're being real. So it's like those, all of those negative, even joking negative self-talk. Yeah becomes we become that because we're not able to decipher what's real and what's j- a joke so we have to be careful about our self talk we have to be careful about the things that we tell other people about ourselves even if it's you know f- funny I, I did a movie called heartbreakers mm-hmm. and i've never said this before and i had like a little chunk of dialogue that was kind of a mo- mini monologue and I remember I was in my, and I had spent all night memorizing this. Thing. I was so nervous. And I took like six beta blockers. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. Because I was Dude, so it's nervous. Dangerous. I know, so dangerous. And I remember in my head going, you're going to eat it. You're going to eat it. This is going to be terrible. You're going to eat it. And when they said action, nothing came out of my mouth. You ate it. And they cut the scene out of, yeah. I was in that, not that one. Oh, not that hard. Hard breakers. Oh, <laughs> I love. I wanted to watch that one. Yeah, Gene yeah. Hackman, H-E-R-D, Jennifer Love Hewitt. Yeah. yeah, that. Sophie Monk, Cameron Richardson, oh, Tia, Tia Carrera. Car- hey, I was in it. Yeah, yeah. What? Chris Kattan's in it. Yeah, yeah. Chris Tia Carrera has the same face as me. So I was in that movie, and I remember having a monologue, and I froze so bad that the director was like, "Do you need a second? And I literally said, "I can't do this right now," and they cut it out. I'm barely in the movie. My point is, is that, and I'm never, I'm no longer doing that anymore. Mm-hmm. But you know what? I, I wouldn't have any of this stuff without Tiger Belly and without Bad Friends. Mm-hmm. And what, believe it or not, Gilbert is uh, there's a lot of allies out there, man, that secretly listen to this shit. It's crazy. I've met them. I'm just kind of shocked. Yeah, and it's cool, man. 
And we don't know how long this ride's going to last. How are our numbers? Uh, right now, great. Thank you, fans. This year, we've been crushing it. Thank you. Even more than usual. Slept wow. kingdom. We got tomorrow, right? Special guests for oh, 300. Okay. Oh, we have a special guest for 300? Yeah, yes, we do. All right. Um, unhelpful advice? Sure. Hey, guys, we're going to take one final break to share one of our truly favorite sponsors. Manscaped. USA. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, Manscaped's great. You know, Manscaped is for edge lords like myself. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, who get really hairy yeah. down the down below, That's right? True. And we get real uh just controversial down there. Yep. Mm-hmm. And what I love to do is I love to take the lawnmower and I like to um the lawnmower 4.0, by the way. Yeah. And I like to shave my little nut nuts. And it really is the best thing because I used to use a dry sh- shaver down there. Oh god! It would make it bumpy and bleedy. But the, dude, I'm telling you guys right now, man, the lawnmower, the lawnmower 4.0, it makes it so smooth, baby. You you could be a swimmer. It's time to bundle up with Manscaped Performance Package 4.0. Inside the package, you'll find their lawnmower 4.0 trimmer, which Bobo was talking about, weed whacker, and ear, nose, and hair trimmer. Crop Preserver Ball Deodorant. Wow. You guys ever heard of that? Oh my God, a freaking love it. ball deodorant. Innovative. Crop Reviver Toner, Performance Boxer Briefs oh. for Peak Performance for my lover, and a travel bag to hold your goodies. Oh my Lord. Get 20% off and free shipping by going to manscaped.com slash tigerbelly. That's 20% off and free shipping by going to manscaped.com slash tigerbelly. Escape the shrubs and weeds this summer and shine with Manscaped. Enjoy the rest of the show. Unhelpful advice with Bobby and Kalila. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Tiger Belly family. I was recently offered a role in the musical South Pacific. Great. But I think wow. I'll have to turn down the part. Good. South Pacific first <laughs> ran on Broadway in 1949. The musical itself does have historical importance for bringing up topics of attacking racism towards Asians by bad whites. So obviously there's a lot of roles for Asian actors, but where I live, I don't have a large, a large Asian population. And I'm afraid there may be a largely white cast because the theater has... Uh, that's just how it is. I'd like to talk about this with the director, but I don't want to just stand in the lobby yelling at it, yelling at him. Wait, wait, wait. Hang on. So let's say he's in the middle of fucking bumfuck somewhere Indeed. where it's mostly white. A white. All right. So what what he's basically saying is is that the director's gonna. The, first of all, the director can't cast white people in Asian parts. Is well, that that's what he's what's saying? happening. Yeah. They, that's not gonna happen. Well, here, how about we're in the middle of like this very like white town where the closest Asian is 150 miles away? Yeah, I'm just saying, why choose South Pacific? Sound of music. Sound of music. Sound of music. Sound of sound music. Of music. music. The yeah, most yeah. do the whitest thing yeah, possible. Yeah, okay, Xanadu. But- <laughs> Whatever. You like, know what, I mean? what if you're in Korea and they do Brady Bunch? It's like choose something else. That's a great show, though. I would love to see it. <laughs> a Korean a Brady, Korean Brady Bunch. Bunch. You know what, Bobby and I want to yeah, write. So we have talked have about. A man, a Brady. Oi, oi. <laughs> Babe, honestly, you and I have to sell our Korean Jetsons idea. Yeah, yeah, we have one. We have Ooh. this. We've been sitting on it for so Korean long. Korean Jetsons. Yeah, we, we can't. I don't to. want to talk about it because. Okay, I'm, yeah. But hey, dude, you can't. You can't do it. You, you can't do it. And if if they're gonna cast white pe- uh, white people for Asian parts, first of all, I can't see any world that that's gonna happen. Mm. But if you live in such a small town that they're gonna do that. You got to get the fuck away from Wait, I have another option. And move, move. No, no, no don't move. <laughs> uh, no, don't move. Don't move. <laughs> Record the whole set and send it to us so we can have uh, material to laugh at for a very long time. Yeah. Because that is ab- the most absurd thing I have ever heard. What would be a cool show would oh, be yeah. if you reverse the parts. Like, I, I don't the know The white people play Pacific. the Asians and the Asians play the white people. See, that's mm. avant garde. They don't even have Asians to play the white people. I know. Just don't pick a different play. Tell the director. South Pacific. You that's can't play so South Pacific. I never, but I don't know the play, so I don't know how many Asian parts there are. I don't know either. Is it like a Pearl Harbor where Josh Hartnett and Harrison Ford, was he in that? <laughs> <laughs> was Harrison Ford? Also, you know what I hate about the movie Pearl Harbor? It was devastating. They were sleeping. I get it. Okay. But it's like, they should extend the part two into Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Oh, that would be intense. Because it's like, you know, you're seeing one slice of it. It's like, yeah, but look at the second half. The mm. second half is devastating. Yeah. Right? And it's like, they leave that out. You know, it's like, um, do you ever see the fucking movie? Was it Black, not Black Rain? Um, Which one? There was, a, there was a documentary about on HBO. It's like 
White something, Black Rain or something like that. But it's an HBO documentary about Hiroshima and Nagasaki and is I fucking saw that one. Brutal, brutal, man. Fucking, fucking brutal. Soul man. crushing. Yeah, it's like, you know, people have mutations in yeah. their body. It's oh. insane. That's what happened too. Like so many people don't know that the like the Marshallese like, or the Marshall I- Islands because so many of the bombs were tested in that area. Yeah. And it's because it didn't compare to like Nagasaki or um, people that were, were or they were like a forgotten people. But I watched this documentary about the Marshall Islands when I was in nursing school and it fucking scarred me to think that this entire island nation was basically debilitated and we didn't even bat an eyelash. Yeah, and, and, and they always they always say, well, it was the one, you know, there was two bombs ended the war, right? But there's a reason why we never used those bombs in Vietnam, mm. right? Because it's like, it was devastating. Yeah, It's like, you can't, right? This, uh, anyway. Anyway, the dark. It's so dark. It's, <laughs> Thanks for anyway. Thanks for thanks for listening to Tiger Belly. How do we end? Ed, talk about the Edge Edge Lord Millionaire signing Edgelord out. Edge Lord Millionaire signing out. <laughs> and uh, George? No, no. I was I was waiting for you to bring up the parts for uh, in the play, and I was trying to think of like what I would do if I was like, hey, we uh we have a part for you. I know you came in for uh you know Private Johnson, but uh, we've got a part for you, Emperor Yakamoto. Like, am I, I'm in the small town. Like, am I, like, getting excited? Like, ooh. Would you do it, George? I, not, you fucking name, would. What is, is the small town? I think his name is not Yakamoto, by the way. Yeah. That's why I was hoping Gilbert would bring this up, but... Uh, is it Hirohito? Ya- Hirohito. Y- Yamamoto, right? Yamamoto. Yamamoto. Yeah. I just want to say, um, if he does decide that this... Here's... here's <laughs> why are you giving me that glare? It was a good because segue. Your, your bit right there um, kind of ate it. <laughs> Babe, what about this? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. What you just said kind of ate it in, in so different, different ways. Jules and, thinks I'm funny. I know. I know, I know, I know it's fine. <laughs> I'm just saying. Jules. You were laughing. You're describing this thing, and it, you were eating it real bad, and it, it fell flat. I love you. I love uh, you is that me being um, <laughs> gaslighting? No, that's no, not, that's that's not, not gaslighting. What is that? What, that's, just, that's, just, that's just being an asshole. That's being, oh, I'm an asshole. You're, yeah. bu- you're bullying. Yeah. Don't ask you're bullying. That's gaslighting. Bullying. That's doubling down. I'm just going to go and say, okay, yeah. what if this guy, this director in this small, like, well, very, very white town says, Bobby, we're going to fly you out <laughs> and we want you to do this community theater thing. We'll pay you $10,000. A day? No, we just want to. No. And I get to doc. Can I make it a documentary? It, it, first of all, if ten thousand dollars, I'll probably have to be out there for two months. Mm-hmm. I probably say no. I'm going to be in what Missouri for two months? There's no way. Did Esther ever tell you the story about how HBO um, basically <laughs> offered her? Um, it was it was a special. It was sort of this weird comedy special because Esther has a very um, long history. She has a, a big background in theater and dance, oh, right? Yeah. yeah. So they followed her to go back to her um, alma mater, her high school, yeah. to try out for a play. Yeah. And she didn't get in. <laughs> Did. And then HBO had to end production. <gasps> oh. They were like, right. well, you didn't get any part, so... And she was basically everyone was so sure that she would, would get this part in this play because she's from that school. She's now a celebrity. She's just coming in. Call, it's a big old prank. I would call the school, school beforehand and go, "Listen, I will lose this HBO show. <laughs> yeah. Not only I'll burn everyone down. I'll kill everybody. I would just donate money to the school. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, thanks for listening. Come on, it's edge. Edge. okay. Let's <laughs> edge, well, edge Lord Millionaire, sign out. Hey, Edgy Lord Millionaire, sign out. Test, test. Oh, oh, really? We aren't on. That's quite convenient, Gilbert, that we aren't rolling for that. Quite convenient. You already know my truths and my weird quirks. I'm like Zoe Deschanel, but Filipino. In what, what? way, in what, what fucking what? world are you Zoe Deschanel? You know that she can sing, right? She's part of a band. No. She's way. got beautiful blue eyes. She's got a petite little face. She is married to an interior designer. Uh, I, he's I our think, manic pixie dream boy. I think Little of her Gilly boy. like new girl. She has all these weird quirks. And I have like foreskin. And I have... Those that, well, foreskin is not a it's quirk. A, it's a quirk. <laughs> it's a quirk. 
so there's a sitcom with you and um, three. you and three girls, and you're just going out on the first night, and they're taking you in. I got and they're like, foreskin. Wow, you're crazy for that. I really regret all those years I gave you shit about foreskin because my mind has right. really changed about that. Wait, what? I, I don't even know really what your position is. My position like in terms of is, for or against. Oh, it's it's if you. Well, look, for some of you guys, it's too late, right? Your your skin's no longer there. All right, give us for the... For some of you guys that whose skin is still there, I also am in support of you, yeah. and I like all all varieties of cut or uncuts. I just know that the feelings and the sentiments around um, um, genital mutilation has changed. Unless you're a Hasidic Jew. Or Filipino, Or right? Filipino. So, um, so yeah, I'm being more open-minded about that stuff now. And truly that would have to be like a thing I would really deeply consider if I had a son, I think like what I want, George, what are your thoughts? You don't have to tell us. Well, That's very private. I, for, I forgot. I was with like no, it's uh, big, yeah, it was a, a group of friends and like yeah. all the wives, I was like making a joke like, oh, I have foreskin. And then like all the wives looked at their husbands. It was like a group of four of us. Yeah. They're all the guys like. Raise their hand. I'm like, holy shit, that's a what? lot of Asian guys with foreskin. I love that. So now we're the foreskin bros. It's crazy. Is that <laughs> one, you are one quirky? One, yeah, one Japanese guy. Wait, one you, what's Chinese that writing dude. team with Jessica Gao and Jimmy O Yang? Uh, the, <laughs> the uh, Three Crabs Club. Yeah, Three Crabs Club. But, no more. It's, it's the Three Foreskin, foreskin bro. Club. Foreskin Bros Club. Yeah. Foreskin. Uh foreskin. Shout out to Foreskin. Shout out to Calamari. Shout out to all. Will you let me pinch it? You can do whatever you want. How much sensation do you have? Wait, are you talking about Is it like, like the back of your elbow where you can pinch it so hard? Oh, no. It's very sensitive. There's still nerves. You can actually see the... Uh, what, do you, what do you get like the, purple, the blue veins you have on legs? And the varicose veins? The varicose veins? I, I have micro varicose veins. Well, that's what I'm saying. All the more reason. It's like there's so much blood flow to that skin and, yeah. and nerves and sensitivity that I'm just like, why would I take that away from my son tell me this three months ago <laughs> <laughs> three months ago i was like chop that shit off george <laughs> don't be one of those Look, now you're... oh i'm so sorry i really have changed my i've learned so much since the um, beginning of this podcast and i've just about changed my mind and stance on everything <laughs> so if i've said anything like really just like that really bothered you a couple years ago more than likely i feel the opposite now I've softened up a bit. I'm circumcising my son. I used to. What did I used to? Yeah, of course. No, you're supposed to do whatever you have. Oh, I do. You oh, match that's, daddy. That's a, they, they, whatever they're used to seeing. Like I don't know. It's like God, he's gonna get bullied so much in high school. No, or he's in not. School. What do you think? He just swings his dick around naked. In I high swung school? my dick around changing in the locker room. I had to like no, justify. I was just like, ugh, I'm just. No one I, told, I, I told you, people I'm just tired. No one told you you had to take all your clothes off when you took a shit. <laughs> that's your bad. That's different because that's I just want my my the tail of my shirts to get dirty every time you say you have to take a shit by the way here in my bathroom like you just picture me naked yeah in i'm your like tub. oh he's fucking naked in there you know? <laughs> <laughs> just squatting on a toilet naked yeah. i still squat on the toilet to this day cindy's like i'm gonna buy you a squatty potty i'm like i'm not doing that i've been doing it this way forever dude Wait, what honestly it's... you squat on a regular toilet yeah, yeah. you have to you still be no I'm not saying Joe Coy no, does it. The, I'm just saying. He does. But get the one that has the little foot things. Now, here, here, here. I'll In India, you. they had like look, the... Look how fast look, how they, look, look, look. It's you go three-point prong, lift, and oh, shit. Is and also, my pants are ripped. No, if you go like this, because you, you Asian squat on it. Right? It is. I know, but in, India, feet, in India, they had like the, the toilet uh, that had both. So you could sit down on it, but then they had a little extension for your uh, feet. Yeah, that's smart. Also, you know, I know now who broke that fucking toilet seat. Which one? The broken toilet seat in not the fucking podcast. Not I. There's only one squatter. And not that's I. You. you ripped it right off, didn't you? Not I. Dirty I will, little feet. You know what? I'll be honest. I have broke in the past two places. I have unhinged the back. <laughs> yeah, I know you. I have. don't actually break it. It just loosens the screws. Because that's so exactly much what I had to fix. Yeah. Well, you know what? I was trying to help you with the my tushy to install it easier. Well, shout out. Shout out to my <laughs> tushy. Um, look, Gil. What I will say is, um, I've never. While, while you're not a Zoe Deschanel, I do think <laughs> that you are a very unique entity. Thank you. And that for some strange reason, even though you weren't born in the Philippines like me, <laughs> you do a lot of things to compensate for your lack of Filipino identity. Like, uh, I still don't walk over my dad's legs. Oh, I don't either. Wait, what's That's that? so stupid. That? You will stop growing. That's so stupid. <laughs> <laughs> even the way you said it, you'll stop growing. So if you... <laughs> 
<laughs> it's my dad so, used to physically grab me, be like, "What the he, like the face of like, what the fuck are you doing?" Like mm-hmm. that kind of energy when he gets yeah. angry. Like, hey, hey, like that. I'm just like, <laughs> as a kid, I just be like, oh, like that. And there was like, walk back over the other way. So I have to jump back over my dad's legs. And I know a lot of you guys are wondering, why would people just be <sighs> sleeping on the floor? Because the Filipinos sleep on the floor. But we just sleep on the floor. It's what we do. We put a, a weave, a tiny little weave. Um, what do you call it? Mat? Yeah, it's a mat, basically. A bamboo And mat. we call it banig. So like and- a Korean spa. Yes, oh, but yeah. I'm telling you, it's the most, after your third day when your bones have um, um, settled and you realize that, um, um, you know, it's like when you try to kick down a banana tree the first time, it really hurts. But you- <laughs> Yeah, you know, when you kick down a banana tree for the first time, George, right? In Michigan, me and Georgia, kicking down banana trees. So you kick down a banana tree for the first time, you give it a go. Born, it really man. hurts. But eventually, the nerves on your shins, they deaden, right? Yeah. Same thing when you sleep on a banig. Your body just eventually your hip bones, the nerves there, they deaden, and really, it's really a comfortable place to sleep. The floor. So what we're not allowed to do is we're not allowed to skip over or walk over a sleeping person. Is it anybody's or an elder? And uh, for us, it was anybody. Oh, so it's okay. Yeah, you're not supposed to walk over them because you would. Well, we were told that we would stop that that person would stop growing, but I'm like, my grandma's 89. Like, I hope that she stopped growing. <laughs> Um, yeah, it's a weird superstition. I don't know. Is that only specific to like where you, you and my dad are from in Mindanao? Or is it like a more national, like, don't step over your elders. They'll shrink. I mean, I think it's, if it's a, yeah, I think it's all the islands. Like the same, sh- like, don't sleep with your hair wet. You'll wake up blind. Blind, yeah. You know, like fun, fun little um, fears they try to instill in you. Or would they say like when you get lice? I don't know. They that say one. that the lice will like lift you to a different dimension. <laughs> what is this interstellar like they grab you by your hair and you get lifted so like they like don't get lice or else like you know you'll be taken to a different dimension I'm like oh okay oh um speaking of filipino shout out to uh my dad was telling me about this uh netflix has this like Filipi- Pese, yeah. yeah i didn't know so many people love it it's really good is it yeah mm-hmm. it's like a i think it's like which is like a filipino comic book that netflix bought and like has this amazing show and people are like obsessed with yeah it. and the people who have voiced over is um um liza soberano who is like an actress in the philippines mm-hmm. nicole scherzinger she's in, um oh. what's her name um i wish um, you were famous earlier Shay mitchell that would be great if you were on it that would be crazy yeah but watch did i say i heard i hear it's really good i haven't watched it yet um but i meant to fucking talk about it and with steve and sarah during the filipino episode um do you have any shout outs Top of your head. I have some reverse shout outs. Do you think got about. some uh, reverse shout outs for certain folks? <laughs> but George is giving me the, he's shooting lasers my George, way. George, so. do you have any normal shout outs that are positive and uplifting? Uh, shout out to your, the fifth. Did I shout out the guy that recognized me playing Frisbee golf at the Chavez Ridge? Oh, shout George. Out. Or did I just say that in private to you guys? Shout out, uh, I didn't catch your name because you didn't say your name, but uh, to you, you know who you are. Shout out to a group of Filipinos that said they love Bobby and Kalala and then Not said, yet. oh, yeah, you too, Gilbert, <laughs> at Quarters. Great. Oh, you love that family. Quarters open again? They're open, yeah. You they, but everything, is, everything is outside still. Oh, no, I ate inside at Parks. Ooh. And I ate inside I ate at outside. Chosan. Look at you. I don't think I'm being a fucking social butterfly again. Does it feel good? No. Okay. I was going to say, like, is your anxiety still very high yeah, inside? Yeah, I come home and I scald my skin. But well, while I'm out there in the world... But at least the food is... While I'm out there in the world, I sure put on a brave face. Nothing affects me. <laughs> Just tears. Today, this morning, um, Bob, um, Bob, I was in bed, and he comes over me, and he's like, oh, you look so relaxed. Because I was just tucked in like this, mm. but I was just like staring off, right? He's like, oh, you look so relaxed. And then he touches my hands. Yeah. And he was like, oh, my God. He's like, you're <laughs> physically dying. And my hands were cold and clammy. My feet were cold and clammy. My body was stiff. And he was like, I don't think that people realize how much you physically suffer in silence. And and he was like, what are you thinking about? And I was just in bed and I had mm. thoughts. But the realization that like I'm in, I'm so tense and so bottled up and so sweaty for most of the day is something that most people, 
people would never assume of me. Mm -hmm. But you guys, like, my anxiety is so bad. Ugh. It's so bad. Like, when I'm supposed to be relaxing, I'm not. Like, I, I, I feel like I'm dying, you guys. <laughs> well, that's a sad shout out. <laughs> <laughs> your pain you're living with. Reverse shout out to myself. To, to well, your... I just learned some new breathing techniques from this book, Breathe, which is all about how, like, modern society, we don't, uh, we breathe. don't breathe correctly. We yeah. don't breathe through our nose anymore. Yeah, I mean, in yoga, you take any yoga class or with mm -hmm. a good yoga instructor, unless you're doing cleansing breaths, from beginning to end, you should be breathing only from your nose. But I have a collapsed nasal passages. <laughs> all right, shout out to that, okay. too. So you see this? You talking about George? You see it? Mm -hmm. Yep. Oh, wait, wait. I'm only seeing... Is only one side doing it? Isn't that normal? Oh, no. Mine doesn't do that. No, no, no. Um, so I have collapsed passages. So when I breathe in, um, no air is coming through one side. Mm -hmm. um, it pinches close. So I am technically a mouth breather. But I try... Even, even with limited stuff coming through my nose, I still try to breathe in yoga. I turn blue. Oh, <laughs> another reverse shout out to that. Do you see it, Gil? No, I see it now. I just, I can't do that. You can't either, probably. Oh wow, that's it collapsed. I'm sorry about your life. <laughs> <laughs> and I just learned how important it is to breathe through your nose. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna share that to anybody now. Let's uh... yeah, because some people like, are like, collapsed. Whatever. That's okay. I oh, also man. am gonna be deaf in ten years. But Jesus, swimmers here, guys. Totally you know, normal. you know what's so sad is when I was watching you on Christina's uh, podcast. My eyelash was falling out. Not the eyelash. That was wonderful. <laughs> that was a hilarious bit that you purposely did. Uh, <laughs> I watched it. I was like, was, oh, I should not. My initial thought was like looking at it, and then you had headphones on. I was like, oh, she's suffering right now. Her TMJ yeah. is. I'm, I'm right. like, Claude, take the fucking headset off. Yeah, but I, I or bring I, your own headset. I cannot not follow rules when I'm in other people's homes. I get it. You know, I want to be always polite. By the way, that's who my shout out goes out to is Mama Pajitsky. I fucking love her. She's great. Shout out to your baby Hungarian bones. I hope they heal soon, <laughs> and you're still strong like bull. And um. I can't wait to see your battle scars. And I can't. I, I honestly, like, she's like my idol. She does she podcasts with so much ease. She's so nice. She's so much love in her heart. She's so funny. I want to be her. She's the best. My so favorite guest. Out. Only time anyone's ever called me the uh, Filipino James Dean. <laughs> and I still hold on to that. Yeah. Also a great liar, apparently. <laughs> no, if she's not a liar, she tells the truth. Also, I'm quirky. Um, But... um. What else? I think that's it. That's all I have to say today. Can I leave now? You may leave. But while you leave, we'll give you the walkout of okay. saying the sponsors and thanking them. Uh, George, get that up. Yep. Thanks I'll again to our sponsors, ZipRecruiter, BetterHelp, Freshly, Hims, and Manscaped. You can try ZipRecruiter for free. Free? This web address, ZipRecruiter.com slash belly. belly. ZipRecruiter, the smartest way to hire. If you want to start living a happier life, George Kimmel, as a listener, you'll get 10% off your first month free. No, no, no that's a lie because I'm a liar. As a listener, you'll get 10% off your first month by visiting our sponsor at betterhelp.com slash belly. Stop stressing about dinner. Go to freshly.com slash belly for $40 off your first, first two, two orders. orders. Today, Hims is giving you their best offer yet, George Kimmel. If you're not happy with your results after 90 days, Hims will give you a full refund. And right now, our listeners can get their first visit absolutely free. That's what I meant to say earlier. Go to forhims.com slash belly. That's forhims.com slash belly. Escape the shrubs and weeds this summer, Gilbert Monung, and shine with Manscaped. Ew. Get 20% off plus free shipping by going to manscaped.com slash belly. Is he Manung? He says Manning. Manning. Like Peyton Manning. Um. Manon. It's like every time he like, he I asks because doesn't Siri go like call Gil Manong or something? Like oh that. no! The only reason I pronounce it incorrectly is so, yeah, so that I talk to Siri. I call, I pronounce Andres's name incorrectly because of a uh, Siri. Andres, yeah, uh, Andres Ra Rosend Rosend, uh, and then uh, what is it, Rosende? Yeah, Rosende. and then call hey Siri, call Gilbert Manning. <laughs> I guess you can still say your name. Call live. Can you start calling me um, um, Manong from now on? I'll say Manong. Please, I feel very. I earned. I earned it over the years. Maybe you want to be called Monong. Uh, ate is um, sweet. You're just cool, though. That's why but I say it. I associate it with cool. Ate, yeah, ate is cute. Like I call your mom like, auntie. But I want to be Manong from now. Manong. 
Yeah. Is there like a cool thing to follow up or just manang? Manang K. You can say man. You just hang on the A a little longer. Manang. manang. Yeah. Uh, I, I feel more comfortable saying manong. <laughs> just your shoulders. <laughs> I see I see your voweled. I see your shoulders. I go manong. <laughs> Dare I say Lolo? <laughs> so you call my sister Kuya? Kuya, I'm like, uh, Kuya Shoulders? What's up? Dude, on the fucking Trash Tuesday episode, oh my god. Did you guys see my show? <laughs> if anyone I, doubted that I had swimmer or like linebacker shoulders. Yeah, Phelps, yeah. I thought you were the NFL player that came out. That's how. Someone said he was like, are. it's a swimsuit episode. Why are you wearing a scuba suit? <laughs> <laughs> it's like oh that's all i wear you should wear a scuba suit on one episode one day gladly i have plenty exactly um yeah shout out to kalala's male body and kawinda's body uh here's a clip of them hitting mitts <laughs> this is kalala hitting mitts oh george sorry you hate when i do this and i point to fake imagery do not pose that, that is i have to it's okay the, the cross she has a strong cross i'll put that out there let me just say no one is allowed to put any of that footage up until i Perfect my form. Oh, God. Perfectionist. See, that's what happens. Uh, what did George say? Perfection is your worst enemy. What it's is it? It's the enemy of progression. Of good. Oh. <laughs> Perfect is the enemy of good. Manong. Yeah, all right. All right, guys. That's our favorite, podcast. Yeah. Follow your favorite Manong at Calamity K. Follow George at George, George underscore, underscore Kimmel. Kimmel. We're going to follow Bobby. Oh, BobbyLeeLive.com should be up and working soon, I think. It's been down. Hey, my responsibility. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Bobby. Take care of your website. Uh, you can follow him at Bobby Lee Live for all his updates. Are we doing that show too? Is that really, was that a joke? Are we doing what is it? That? You're hosting on Tuesday? Look, guys. I'll do it. I'll do it when you do it, but we can also make it like in three weeks or something. I make some impulsive decisions. And the truth is, the amount of sweat that would escape my body performing in a 600 person room would dehydrate me to the point of death. Can you, I kind of want to do it if we all do it. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, because I, I, you I've guys, got some killer futon jokes that need to make a couple. Look, back, you're guys. fine, dude. You know, you know, we should all share calendars, right? Yeah. Everything that comes up. Improv, George's calendar. Oh my God, yeah. This, improv what? at seven. That's on you guys? Improv class. George, I, I, I had to skip. I always them. tell him, I'm like, George, you're putting your personal stuff on the Tiger Belly calendar. Something was, about Argentina last week. Yeah, that, you saw that? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, are we <laughs> filming in Argentina? Argentina? <laughs> Las pelotas, che. Dude, I thought you'd check this. Anyways, uh, you no, can follow... It's, it's, it goes to whatever I record, like I put on last. It automatically goes to the if last calendar. If you guys want to know what George is up to this upcoming week... I wanted to get back up. into I soccer. Will gladly, <laughs> I will gladly share his calendar. Yeah, it's like, there's a day sex with wife. <laughs> like, hey, man, take that off. Be more impulsive with her. She'll find it romantic. Uh, follow George. George uh, Tiger we Bear already at, did that. We already did that. Okay, merch update? Uh, oh, yeah, merch. Uh, guys, merch is coming out soon uh follow the social medias for uh some dates but here's a sneak peek of what some of it may look like uh this will be a limited run so once again guys do not miss this this merch will exist only in this moment uh so make sure you get it uh or you will have to buy it off someone on ebay and that's very difficult to do uh follow me at gilbits if you like mma I sometimes do a little fun podcast called we out here mma with some of my mma friends and uh, we love you so much. And also send your questions to advice unhelpful at gmail.com. We'll see you at our special 300th episode next week. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You're telling them about that? Just telling them. We talked about it. I don't know who the guest is. All I know is the special 300th episode. There we go. We love you guys. Bye. <laughs>